how to deal with stress. Welcome back, I'm Alex and this is the three in three challenge where I'll be showing you how to deal with stress by filling up your heads with the things that you want so there is no space for the things that you don't want. To demonstrate this, I'm spending three months doing three things that I really want to do, which is to learn to speak Spanish, to play the violin, and to get fit enough to run 10 miles by the end of three months. If you want to know more about this, then click on the link above and there is a video that will tell you everything you need to know about it. Yes, you lucky people. That was me showing you how far I've got with, uh, with the violin. Great, isn't it? No, it's not, it's rubbish, of course it is, but I'm only two weeks in. Um, I'm not gonna spend the whole video showing you my progress, but I will give you weekly updates or as many updates as I possibly can. And, and hopefully, as I get better at these things, then I'll give you more and more footage of it, but you don't really wanna be listening to that whole thing right now. In the meantime, we'll be looking at weekly tips and hints on how to deal with all sorts of stress. And this week, we're looking at seven tips on how to deal with long-term stress. Let's crack on. So today I want to talk about how to deal with stress on a long-term basis. And tip number one is this, clear your mind. Do something different, get yourself away from the situation. Go for a walk, go for a meal with some friends, or spend the day at the beach like I am with a family. Just do something that changes the pattern of that stressful thought process. And when you do, make sure it is something that, you, that calms you down, it's relaxing, it's enjoyable, and then live in that moment. And how does this help? Well, it just resets things. When you're away, getting yourself away from the situation, generally you, you find a way of not thinking about that thing that's really stressing you out. I'm here on the beach today with my family. Do you really think that I've spent one second thinking about any of my problems that I have in a, on a day-to-day -day basis? No, no I haven't because I'm here living in the moment. And that's what I'm talking about. Once you're in a place that you've, you're able to clear your mind, you can press the reset button, change the thought process, and start thinking about what you actually want rather than being surrounded by the things that you don't want. I'll catch up for more in a sec, but for now, I'm just gonna enjoy my time on the beach. All right, just a brief interruption. I actually started this project of, I was doing some vlogs of how to deal with stress. I started it last year. And so I've got some footage from last year and I didn't want it to go to waste. So just a tiny little bit of a cheat what you're about to see is from last year. I, I just couldn't continue with it at the time because you know one thing got him away and then another and then another. You know, just just didn't have the time to do it. So um, so you're about to see what happened last year, but the principle of what I'm saying still remains the same. So I hope you find it helpful. Back to the video. So I'm out today again with the family. This time we're in London. And this amazing structure here is called the London Eye. It didn't just happen. It took a lot of planning. It actually took a leap forward in time, which is what I want to tell you about in just a minute. But right now, I have to catch up with my family who are, who are waiting for me over there. So I'll see you shortly. So the past few days have been super busy. I wasn't able to follow up on the London Eye immediately and I've had to take my own small leap forward in time uh, to here in Spain where I'm spending two weeks on, on holiday. So what do I mean by taking a leap forward in time? Well, if you could just snap your fingers and you could magic yourself into the future where you knew that everything was how you want it to be, it, it was just, it was, everything was just right within the boundaries of reality. If you could take a 360 degree view of how that perfect moment would look. What would it look like? How would it feel? The key is to transport your mind to that place. Sitting in the present where you've got a problem and it's causing stress is not gonna help you. It's just, you're just gonna stagnate, you're gonna stay exactly where you are and no solutions are gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, you, obviously you must address the situation and acknowledge that it's there. 
but taking a leap forward in time, just like the people who designed the London Eye. It di they didn't just look at the riverbank and think, oh, yeah, if we just start building something there, then eventually it's going to end up looking how we want it to look. No, they had to know exactly what it was going to do, what it, what it was going to look like when it was finished. And in order to do that, they needed to have a vision, a clear picture in their minds of, of how they wanted it to look. So you can apply that to any given stressful situation. Just know what it's going to look like. Take a leap forward in time, have an image in your head of what you want your desired outcome to look like, and then just start to move towards it. And once you know that, then you just got to start getting excited about it. You got to feel it. Which brings me to my next point. So that there is the kamikaze, it's a slide, it's a massive slide. That was my son and daughter coming down the slide as you saw. I cannot tell you how terrified Lucy, my youngest, was uh, coming down that slide earlier today. We were going up there and we nearly came back down and then went back up again. And all I did was just to help her feel the end result, feel excited about the end result. And that's really the point I want to talk about right now, which is when you, when you know about your end result, feel it. Whatever it is that you want the outcome to be, feel it. If you're going to feel excited about it, then just do exactly that. Uh, we'll cover that in just a sec. But I didn't, did I? Look, I was on holiday. I was having a great time and I completely forgot to do that next section of the video. So I'm doing it here a year later back in the UK and I'm just going to slot it back into the, uh, the video. Look, the principle remains the same, which is this. If, if you have a problem, you need to move towards a solution. But the, the, that point between where you are and the solution, the next steps could be terrifying and you could lose everything. What's the other option? Stay where you are and lose everything anyway, not get, get your solution, or just take the step. I know that sounds easier said than done, but sometimes you just gotta feel that excitement of, of being there where the solution exists. And put your mind there, put your mind there, feel it, soak it all up and be in that moment because that's what's gonna drive you forward and take you to the, at least take the next step. Look, think about athletes or soldiers or really anyone who starts something and they've got a lot to lose, you know, if they don't get what they set out to do. They still do it. They still pluck up the courage and stay, take that step towards their desire, desired outcome. So all you've got to do is the same thing. Whatever it is that's, that's causing you fear, look, not doing it is just going to keep you where you are and you're just going to stay in that long-term cycle of stress or moving towards it. You know, it's another step towards you getting what you want, uh, being happier, calmer and stress-free. So take that step. Feel how that outcome is going to be and uh, just move towards it. Look, my, at the time, she was 10. Lucy was 10 years old. She stood at the top of one of the highest water slides in Europe, absolutely terrified. And if she can do it, then anyone can do it. So, um, so that's that tip. Now it's back to the video on holiday from, from last year. This is Cavapino Beach. I love this place. I love everything about it. I love how relaxing the, the sunbeds are over there. I love the sand. I love the, the facilities, all the stuff that you can do here. But most of all, I love being in the sea. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite thing. However, the other day we got here and it was just the strangest thing. We were just, everyone was just stood on the edge of the sea and uh, the, the, by the sand and the sea. Nobody was getting in it. And when I got to the edge, I could see that there were thousands, thousands of jellyfish in the sea. There is no way that I was gonna get in that sea and nobody else was that day either because those jellyfish do sting. That was a big problem. I was really looking forward. To, I was really looking forward to getting down here. It was one of my favorite places of the whole holiday. So that was a problem for me. 
What did we do? We looked for a solution. What was that solution? Okay, it wasn't the one that I wanted. We packed our stuff, we went back to the pool and spent the day there because that's something I equally enjoy doing. Now, in the grand scheme of things, beach, pool, jellyfish, I know that doesn't sound like a real problem, but you know what? It, it was a big issue for me. I really look forward to coming here on a holiday every year. I absolutely love it. So yes, it was a big problem, but I do acknowledge that it's not the world's biggest problem. There are many, many other problems that people have uh, that cause them a great deal of stress, whether it's they think they're gonna lose a job or they've got too much debt or whatever else, a bereavement. There are many things that can cause a great deal of stress. But the principle of dealing with it is exactly the same. What we did, was we dealt with, we looked for a solution rather than focus and surround ourselves in the problem. And that's the tip I wanna talk about right now, which is just fix your mind on the solution rather than surrounding yourself in the problem that exists. It exists, it's there anyway, whether you want it to be or not. Now some people might argue, well, you know what, you're not, you're not facing up to the problem if all you're doing is looking for the solution. No, my argument is this, look, if you are looking for a solution, the very fact that you are you're looking for a solution means you are, you're dealing with a problem that exists. You're looking for the solution. You're not just surrounding yourself in a problem and then crying or getting upset and just nothing positive comes from that situation. So that's the tip. Fix your mind on the solution rather than surrounding yourself in the problem. Now it's time to get back to the beach and in the sea, we have no jellyfish today. So we are now about 3,000, I'd say about 3,000 feet up. Are we William? Yeah, roughly. About that, yeah. We got up here using a cable car, which made things nice and easy and a lot of fun. Uh, but if you were to try and climb this mountain, and it is a mountain, all right, locals might call it a hill. Uh, there are probably many higher mountains. I don't know if you can see the stuff in the background there. Uh, there's a range going on over there, but if you were to try and climb this, especially on a day like this, you you just you die of heat exhaustion. If you to, if you were to do all of this in one go, you die of heat exhaustion. So what you'd have to do is be prepared, bring the right resources with you, whether it's water and food, the right clothing, etc., and just take it one step at a time. When you need to stop, when you need to rest, then stop and rest. And then you can you can apply that to pretty much anything that you're trying to do. So if you've got something, a big task up ahead of you and it's causing you a lot of stress, whatever that task might be, then you just gotta break it down. Because not all of us can just take one giant leap. In fact, I don't think I know a single person who has taken a giant leap in one go and achieved something massive without making preparations and taking steps to make that thing happen. So yes, it might look like a giant leap to some people, you know, when you see someone who's made a great success of their life in whatever they do, and they might want you to believe that it's, it was from one giant leap, but everything is broken down into small steps. So if you want to deal with a stressful situation and it feels like a mammoth task, then just take it one bite at a time and you'll be able to deal with it much more easily. Anyway, we're gonna get back down in a minute. Time to enjoy the view. Check it out, look at that. You can just see the Earth's curvature, that's amazing. Okay, so that was me just making lunch. It was a smoothie. I know it's a little bit late, but I want to use this to highlight my next point, which is eat well. Stressed people often don't eat well. They, it could be for many different reasons. It could be just for, for convenience. You might be on the move. Your might, life might be moving really fast and you just don't get the time to eat the right stuff. Or it could be for comfort put chocolate into your system, put crisps into your system, and it feels you get instant gratification, but it doesn't have long-term benefits. I'm sure you know the saying, you are what you eat. Well, that is absolutely 100% true. If you put bad stuff into your body, quite often that's fatty or sweet stuff, which ultimately breaks down into fat, 
that gets into your bloodstream. The blood is there to carry oxygen around your body. If you've got fat in your blood, then it's just gonna slow your blood down. If your blood's traveling around your body slowly and it's there to carry oxygen around your body, then what does that mean? It means that oxygen's taking a lot longer to move around your body. And what do we need to live? Oxygen. What do we need to perform really well? More oxygen. If you're not getting enough oxygen around your body, you're just not gonna think straight, your, your body's not gonna perform as well as you need it to. And if you're in a stressful environment, you need to be performing at optimum levels to get yourself to the place that you need to be. So, if you want to get yourself through a stressful environment, get to where you need to be, then eat well. Now, I've got a smoothie here, and some people might argue that a smoothie is, it breaks down all the fibers, and you need the fibers to live healthily. Well, yes, that may be the case, and I haven't really researched it enough to know what the full ins and outs and the benefits are. However, if you're living a fast-paced life, and you need to get those contents into your body, that could be bananas, celery, lettuce, uh, carrots, or whatever it is that's going into a smoothie. If you don't have the time to get those contents into your body, then think about it. You're on the move, you need to get stuff into you fast. What's better for you, a cheeseburger or a smoothie? I don't think I need to answer that. So this point is, if you want to beat stress, then eat well. So, here I am, ready to go for a run in the blazing heat and the sun. Uh, there are other things I would much rather be doing right now, like lying by the pool, going for a swim. However, I know how important this is to me. And this is the final point I want to make in today's entry, which is, in order for me to get my head in the right place to, to go for a run, I had to get prepared. I had to remove all obstacles. I had to get my trainers ready, I had to get my clothes ready, and just get them on and go. This brings me on to the final point I'm going to make in today's entry, which is remove all obstacles. If you've got something tough to do ahead, there are always going to be reasons and things in the way that are going to stop you from getting that thing done. Um, it's easy to procrastinate. It's very easy just to put it off till the next day, next month, whenever. But if you want to get to your desired outcome and that desired outcome might be, might be an arduous road, a rocky road, then you're gonna to need to get yourself prepared and remove as many obstacles as you can possibly help yourself with. So how does that relate to a stressful situation? Well, let's just take a random scenario where you might have, a, you might need to have an awkward or a difficult conversation with your boss or indeed an employee. There are often, in a workplace, there are often many things that need to be done. It could be admin, it could be a phone call that needs to be made, an, uh, an email that needs to be sent, a million and one different things that need to be done. And those things, you just, you know, quite often get, get pushed to the, to the front because this awkward conversation just doesn't want, you don't want to have this awkward conversation. But that awkward conversation is the thing that needs to happen in order to achieve your desired outcome. So you're going to need to remove the obstacles. And that obstacle, sometimes, it's not always a physical obstacle, sometimes it's in your head, sand. And an obstacle that's in your head might be worried about what the person's reaction is going to be or even your own reaction or are you going to be able to handle the situation really well and all the other things that go through your mind when you're thinking about having a tough or difficult or awkward conversation with someone. So the best thing to do is to set a time in this scenario. I mean there are many scenarios we could look at but let's just let's just focus on this scenario right now which is just if you need to have that conversation then just set a time for yourself and that person as well so they they know that this is when that conversation is going to happen. That means you can't make any phone calls, you can't make any emails, you can't do any admin work, you can't do anything. You just have to have that conversation. That thing needs to happen. If you don't feel like doing that, then you need to revert back to a previous point that I made, which is take a leap forward in time. How important is that moment? That, when you take that leap forward in time, how important is that moment to you? If you visualize that moment, you know what it's gonna look like, you know, how it's gonna feel, and you know why you want to do it, then that's the most important thing that should be in your mind. And in order to achieve that, then sometimes you're gonna find yourself in a situation where it's just a bit difficult. It's not something you really want to do. Uh, so you're gonna find yourself some obstacles. We all do it, I've done it. We naturally find obstacles to just kind of put that thing off. So that's my final point. 
today, which is remove all obstacles so that you can move forward to your desired outcome. I hope you found the points in today's video helpful. If you do, please hit like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button. That will let you know every time I upload a new video. Um, don't forget, I'd love to know your comments. If you've got any questions or any points you want to raise, then please just put them in the comment section below. And um, I'll see you next week back at home in the UK. Right, time to go for this run. Right.